Did I use college decisions as an excuse to bake myself a whole batch of cupcakes? Yes, I did. Hey guys, it's Melanie and I'm so excited for this video. It's another college video as you can see. If you just want to know where I'm going, you can check out my Instagram or you can just skip to the end of this video. But basically, I decided to do it as an elimination process because I would watch so many of these videos when I was deciding where I wanted to apply to college my junior year. I just thought that they were very helpful um, in explaining like the reasons that I was attracted to certain schools and the reasons that I decided not to go to certain schools. Um, so I'm just going to chat about each one a little bit and slowly eliminate them until I explain where I'm going for college. So without too much chitter chatter, let's get straight into this video. I'm so excited. Okay, so as you can see, I have 12 schools here. First off, I had to eliminate these schools that I got rejected from. Obviously, I still made those cupcakes because you know, like, I still applied to them, so technically whatever. Um, but that was USC and NYU. I got rejected from both of these schools, so we're just gonna eat these cupcakes out of the frame. I don't know where to put them actually. Now, both those schools were in my reach category when you're applying. You apply to like reach, target, and safety. So those ones were both in my reaches. So I wasn't expecting to get into them. Okay, after that, I got waitlisted at Berkeley. So I'm gonna take that one out. I decided to not go on the waitlist because this was also a reach school for me, but I wasn't that adamant about going here. I kind of just applied to Berkeley because UCLA was my dream school, but then the UC app is, I don't even remember, four essays, I think. It was like a lot of work. So I was like, I wrote so many essays, I might as well, you know, like apply to another school. So then I just applied to Berkeley, which I know sounds really bad. So I took Berkeley off of my list. I also wanna say I wrote everything out um, in like this huge pros and cons list when I was deciding, which I highly, highly recommend doing because it really helped me out. Okay, so after that, the rest of these nine schools are all schools that I got accepted to. So I had to start getting rid of schools that I could not really see myself at. First off, I think I got rid of ASU. ASU was a safety school for me. It was a lot cheaper for me than like other schools. It was the closest to in-state tuition because I got some kind of like president scholarship I don't know kind of applied because I knew a lot of people who went there I also knew that like my running start credits would transfer there I'm going into business and I know they have a pretty good business school some things that I didn't really like about ASU Keep in mind that I wasn't able to tour like any of these schools because of the whole lockdown situation, which was kind of a bummer. So most of the knowledge I've gathered was based off of like talking to current students who are enrolled there or from watching like YouTube videos or taking online tours or just doing like online research. So I definitely don't have the full scope, but it was kind of just like how I made my decision either way because you know these are the circumstances for me I think it's just way too big of a school which is the biggest downfall for me it's like 70k enrollment or something like that and that's just really really big also if I was gonna be paying more I wanted it to be somewhere that I was really really interested in and I don't really see myself living in Arizona nor have I ever visited Arizona so I decided to kick this one out Next off, I got rid of SCSU. What did appeal to me um, when applying to SCSU is that they do have a good business school. Also, it's in California, San Diego, so that's nice. But this is a school that I was super interested in my like sophomore and junior year, but I think it was because I was kind of a different person at the time. I really saw myself going into like Greek life and being in a sorority and rushing and that kind of stuff. From what I've heard, the social life there is a little bit like harder if you're not in um, a sorority or something like that. It's, it's a state school, which also means that it was more expensive. They didn't give me any aid. Ultimately, I decided against CSU. After that, I also got rid of LMU. What I did like about LMU was the size. They have a good teacher to student ratio because it is a smaller school. It's also a private school. They have a good business program and it would help you get like a lot of connections, um, you know, in California and in the business industry. However, I decided against it because it was still very very expensive being that it was a private school and I didn't really get much aid from them. I wasn't like super super drawn to it so I decided against LMU. Um, next off, decided not to go to Chapman University. Honestly, what intrigued me most about Chapman or how I heard about it initially was because of their film school. However, I did not apply to their film school. I applied to their business school, which they still do have a really good business school. Tuition was also really expensive. I did get like some aid, but it still wasn't enough to make it like worth it. For me, I don't want to say worth it, but like to make me want to go there enough because it was still really expensive. I did want a school with some kind of sport where you could have the school spirit environment, um, which 
like Chapman and LMU didn't really have. I know like the big state schools and stuff like that. I know it's kind of like you can't ask for both. Like you can't be like, oh, I want a small school, but I also want them to be like super spirited and, and have sports. So I kind of had to pick my battles with that. But ultimately I decided against Chapman. After that, I got rid of Cal Poly. Applying to Cal Poly, it was a target school for me. It was a pretty easy application. So like Cal Poly and SCSU, I believe since they're Cal State schools, it was also one application and you didn't have to write an essay or anything. It was all stats based. Pluses when it came to Cal Poly is that I know they're very academically strong. I like the size of the school. It's like 20k. I, think. I also was really attracted to the fellowship because I am Christian and I do want to join like a Christian fellowship on whatever campus I do end up at and that's very important to me. Some of the downsides however were that I didn't really get any aid from state schools once again. I got like a thousand dollars which is really not a lot when it comes to colleges. The location it has its ups and downs it's like pretty far off. It's still in California, but I know it's like a far drive from the city and stuff and preferably I think I would rather be a little bit closer. Another thing for Cal Poly is that it's really hard to change your degree because you like admit straight into it. Like I'm pretty set on business, but I still like to have, I don't know, like the freedom to be able to switch if something were to happen. I don't really have a sports you know, spirit whole thing going on. Overall, I didn't do a whole lot on Cal Poly. I just knew that like my stats lined up with it well. It wasn't worth it for me um, considering the cost because it was pretty expensive and I didn't really get any aid. Okay, so now we are down to four schools. I have Pepperdine, UCLA, UW, and Point Loma. I think it was pretty easy for me to get it down to these four, but the next one that I knocked out was actually at UCLA, which is sad and it still makes me sad because UCLA was my dream school since a really young age actually. I never toured it but I did like walk on the campus and stuff. I really liked the atmosphere. I loved everything about it. I applied with UCLA being a reach. I did not think I was going to get in whatsoever and I was really surprised that I did and it made me really happy but all in all I simply could not afford it. Knowing that not a lot of my credits from Running Start would transfer that means I'd probably be there for three plus years which I know it's normal to go to college for four years assuming you're getting a bachelor's which is what I want to do but um, paying four years and paying out of state is extremely extremely expensive of everything going on right now and the uncertainty school starting in the fall which I'm still kind of anxious about I couldn't put that much money into a school like that it is a state school it's really really big I think it's like 40k enrollment I think has great academics I know I would be set like getting a job and stuff out of that we make great connections in great location I've also heard they have like great food on campus which you know that's not what I'm choosing my school based on but it's definitely a plus this was just from my observations but a lot of currently enrolled students there were super welcoming and open to outreach which I thought was very very nice because I got so many DMs from like UCLA students so I like chatted with a lot of them and they they were all so so nice. I mean obviously it's a bigger school so there's more likely a chance that those people could reach out to me. It also has a lot of good sports and stuff and it has the whole spirit aspect which I was really attracted to. Also UCLA does have great fellowships from what I've heard about. Some of the other downfalls however were that I am going into business and UCLA doesn't really have a business school compared to UW which has a whole school of foster. UCLA only has a business economics major which is what I did pre -admit into however it doesn't like guarantee a spot it would be very academically rigorous I know so I'd kind of be killing myself and realistically like handling that and I know I'd have to work at the same time it would be very difficult that being said overall it was just very very expensive I got no aid it was really heartbreaking but that's that and these three next one is Point Loma. Point Loma is also one of the ones that was more comparable to in-state tuition. I did get a scholarship from them, so it was only a couple thousand more. Point Loma is a smaller school, and I do know a couple people who go there, which is nice because I was able to chat with them, get like opinions from people who I do already know. It's a Christian-based school, so you would be taking like Christian courses and stuff like that, and religion courses, which personally I'm interested in, and I think that'd be cool. The enrollment there is like 2K, so it's really small. The location 
is beautiful it has small class sizes which is also a plus i wasn't like super drawn to the school throughout the process so i think that said something i honestly don't know a whole lot about their business program either overall i just decided against point loma so we're down to my final two schools we have university of washington right here in washington state and then we have pepperdine university which is in beautiful malibu california okay so i can go on about these i had it down to the top four pretty easily and then it was kind of hard to get it to these top two but i was able to get it here but choosing between these two was really 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 difficult for me i'll start off with uw i grew up knowing uw wanting to go to uw my dad went to uw i would be super close to my family and my friends i would have my home church they also have a great christian community i know it's a great school they have great academics i actually da'd into foster which i was really really excited about because that basically means you're straight and to your major it makes things a lot easier and it goes like way smoother for you in the college process so realistically going to UW would be a very very smart move like financially my running start credits would also transfer directly over there so technically I would be in a junior standing I wouldn't have to retake a lot of rec courses which would be super super nice and also save a lot of money because I'd only be going to college for two years but that being said I want the college experience two years college isn't really the same as going and graduating with your class you know having the full four-year experience. UW is a state school. They have great sports, great academics, well-known. They have a lot of connections that can get you into like internships and in Seattle. But realistically, I also don't really want to live in Seattle my whole life. The weather, I know it sounds dumb talking about the weather, but the weather has a really, really big impact on my mood. And I've been living here for, you know, 18 years. On the other side, there was Pepperdine. The pluses to Pepperdine, it's very different from UW in that um, UW is a state school, Pepperdine is a private school, it's also a lot, lot smaller, it's like 2, 3k, whereas UW is like 45k. The weather, it's in Malibu, beautiful. California, I think I've always dreamt of living in California. Pepperdine is a school I had my eye on since like junior year, I think. I didn't really know about it before that. Um, other than that, it's where Zoe 101 was filmed and everyone says it's beautiful and stuff like that. I watch Zoe 101 so I don't know why I bring that up. Also a Christian school so you do take like convo and Christian courses, religion courses, stuff like that. I know there is close like professor student relationships. They also have study abroad programs which really attracted me. Two thirds of the student body goes to study abroad their sophomore year which I think is really really cool because the way they like plan it out it just flows really well with your schedule and you're getting to do it with your classmates. They also have a good business school and of course the Christian community attracted me a lot. I know I talk about this and I don't want to like bombard you with like ah I'm a Christian blah 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 but it did play a very very big role in to my decision. Some of the downfalls to Pepperdine is that I would have to move and be away from my family, which is like good and bad because I am an independent person. But of course, I would miss my family a lot. I wouldn't know anyone. Some of the other California schools, I would know like some people from school, but I don't even know anyone from my school who applied to Pepperdine. It's also really expensive. It's a private school. I did get some merit from them. That being said, it's still very, very expensive and not a lot of my credits from Running Start transferred over. So not only does that mean I have to like retake the same classes, it also means I will be at college for longer, which is not necessarily a bad thing because from what I've heard, everybody loves college, but financially that's very, very expensive. Overall, I knew my parents were probably leaning UW because it's the safer route and it's also financially smarter. Overall, my perspective on college is that of course it's a way to further your education, but it's also a way to meet new people and it's a very, very big step in your life, shaping the person who you're going to become when you're an adult. That being said, I'm excited to say that I am committed to Pepperdine and I'm going to be a future wave. I'm super, super, super excited to attend, assuming things go as planned, hopefully they do, and that we can attend school in the fall. Overall, my decision, it was still a really, really hard decision to make. It was kind of just a gut feeling and I can really see myself there. I just chatted so, so much, but I'm planning on doing a lot of like college videos and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see school videos and more about it, I'm very excited to start my college journey. Journey. I thank you guys for bearing with me in this very very long video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. I love you. I'm gonna go eat my cupcake now. Bye guys. I know it's getting late now, babe.